Oh, you must be Miss Last Name. Hello there, Mr. Champion. Please call me Brett. Yes, I'm looking to apply for the position of a um, hot air balloon operator. Oh yeah, that position. I remember our uh, last employee didn't fare so well. I don't know how to fly this. In the arms of the angel, fly away from here. If only I paid attention in chemistry class. But you'll do better than that, right? You know all about the combined gas law. Oh, oh yeah, totally. Of course. <laughs> if only I paid attention in chemistry class. <laughs> Rachel, pay attention. Oh, I remember. The combined gas law is so very important to the beautiful art of hot air balloon flying. The combined gas law states that there is a relationship between an ideal gas's pressure, volume, and temperature, written simply as P1V1 over T1 equals P2V2 over T2. So in terms of operating a hot air balloon, the combined gas law determines the pressure, temperature, and volume of the gas inside the balloon. When you release gas from the burner in the balloon, the temperature rises and causes the pressure and or volume of the gas to increase. This means that pressure and temperature, or volume and temperature, are directly proportional. So, in hot air balloons, the increase of temperature causes the balloon's buoyancy to rise and fall. You really know what you're talking about. You're hired. Thank you, Mr. Champion. And you can call me bread and butter. Chemistry, chemistry, it's so fun this six weeks, learning of gas laws, screwing around in the labs, we get A's on our tests, except for me. Chemistry, chemistry, it's so fun this six weeks.